Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'll be talking about the new update and uh, what you should be grinding for, everything new, like this Sasuke right here that's on global now, it just came out today Phantom Castle is gone so we'll be getting the rewards in like a day maybe so uh, you should be getting like gold tickets and pearls and all that so make sure to waste the tickets on the ticket summonings we got a new ninja rose, so I'll make a video on that, uh, probably like later today or tomorrow. I'll be completing it, hopefully they give the first time rewards. If not, then that just means they're probably just gonna keep, keep it like that for a while, which kinda sucks. But, Qualifier League is out right now too, so I'm definitely gonna be qualifying on my main account. So if you guys do wanna watch my matches, I do stream it on Twitch, so I'll leave a link to that in the, in the description. So yeah, Qualifier League, last time I got filled up, but later than what it used to uh, be, used to, before it would, get up, it would get filled up like on Thursday or Friday, last time I got filled up like on Sunday, I think. So let me look at the uh, emergency missions. Alright, so the impacts are not worth grinding. Not that good, just grind for the pearls. The emergency missions as well, just grind for the pearls, not really... Uh, worth grinding for the unit. Alright, we got no new panel mission either. This is just the rookie panel mission. So that's why it still shows on this account. We got a reset on the Ninja Road rewards. We got the Indra in the shop. So here's the Indra speed boost pills. Alright, so from here, make sure to get the acquisition stones, awakening scrolls, skip tokens if you want them, they're pretty useful. Limit break crystals, speed boost, the beads, and Indra if you want, it's a decent unit. Clash coins, you got two weeks to get the Kagali units that you that you need. The top three are Killer Bean, Might Guy, and Hashirama. Tsunade is also a good option, Gara. Uh, Minato is a really good option as well. Jiraiya, Kaguya. But it is 50,000 Clash Coins, so... This data don't don't get with the Clash Coins. It's, uh, it's an impact, so you just, you know, it's better just to wait instead of wasting this much Clash Coins. And that's pretty much it for Global. We got... We did get the new Sasuke, so let me look at the banner right quick. I already made a video talking about the banner, if you should summon and all that, so if you want more details on that, I'll put a link to it in the description. So, 9 steps, so most likely like 400 pearls or 390. The featured units are okay, the Itachi and the Sasuke are good. However, no one really uses the Sasuke no more because the Kagali Hashirama is pretty much a better version of it it's faster and does the same thing the Tachi is good for type changing to uh, skill so it's really good for hard type units like these right here so it's a decent banner the featured units are decent the unit is really good however let's see where his this is blazing bash version so let's see which one is it Oh, he's also extra effect too for the qualifier league. And uh, let's see, right here. So 4.4 times attack toward all enemies in range, and the range is insane. It pretty much hits everybody. 85% chance of jutsu ceiling for four seconds. 95% chance of speed reduction for six seconds. And 90% chance of switch ceiling for ten turns. So that is insane. Uh, four seconds and six seconds is pretty much the whole game. 10 turns is a really long time too. The ultimate removes perfect dodge and barrier for one enemy on screen. And ignores damage reduction effects, reduce damage and substitution with 15 times attack toward them. So the ultimate is single target and just ignores everything pretty much. His abilities are pretty good too. His speed is good. His max speed is 421 with the speed pills on him. So, really good. And his abilities is good as well, so notify Jutsu Ceiling, notify Mobilization, 
25% chance of restoring two chakra gauge when dealing direct attacks. So when he hits someone, he has a chance of getting two chakra gauges, which is insane, especially because he's three six chakra. 40% chance, uh, or not 40% chance, uh, reduced damage taken by 40%. So it's really helpful. It's gonna be hard to kill him. And notify chakra reduction field effects. So if he gets pushed into a chakra reduction field effect, so like on PvP they have those like uh, fields where it shows like little blue uh, orbs or whatever and usually when you get pushed into it it takes away your chakra or it gives you chakra so if you get pushed into one that takes away chakra the sasuke won't get affected because of this ability the last one so that's good three six chakra good health good strength good field skill good buddy skill and again really good uh jutsus So this is an amazing unit. I really want to summon on this. If I get enough pearls, I will summon on my main account. I need like a hundred more for a full rotation. But there is a chance of getting them on the guarantee step, which is good. 33% chance. But that's the banner. If you want to, you know, more details on if you should summon. I made a video on it and I will uh, link it in the description and probably put it at the end of the video as well. So you can just click on it. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go to JP because that's everything on global, so I will be right back. Alright, I'm on JP now, and something I forgot to mention on global was the Kagi League or qualify the rewards for qualifying. And if you get to tier S level 10, that's how you qualify. You get two Awakening Scrolls, the seven star Awakening Scrolls, I believe. You get 60,000 Clash Coins. You get 40 Ninja Pearls. You get 10. Uh, world, world class ramen, I believe that's what it's called, and that's for the Kage League, so you can level them up. And I believe that's pretty much it, but a lot of pearls and a lot of clash coins, so make sure to qualify. Uh, really useful, especially for pearls. Alright, emergency missions the impacts are not worth it for the unit, just grind the pearls. And the emergency missions as well. So just all of these just grind for the pearls. You don't I don't think it's worth it to grind the unit. Nothing too special. You probably never use these ever. Unless you have them 9 9 luck or something. So the Sasuke banner is still here as well. It's gonna be here for one more week. So you have a week to decide if uh or a week left to summon if you are gonna summon on JP. Uh, 5 Kage League starts on Friday, so in like 2 days or 3 days actually, so be ready for that, 5 Kage League. I believe there is no uh, Kage League unit again, which kind of sucks, but I do like how they brought them in the shop and uh, how they brought duplicates. Ninja Road is still here and it's going to be here for 2 more weeks. I believe there is no new panel mission. Yeah, so just the rookie panel mission. And let me just show you that the Sasuke is still here. And pretty much nothing else. Yeah, so there's the Sasuke. Yeah, nothing else. So the Phantom Ticket banner is gone for JP. It's still there for Global. You have a week to summon on that. And uh, let's see the shop. See if anything changed on Clash Coins. I don't think so. I think you just got a week. Yeah, you got a week to get these duplicates. I recommend getting Killer B, Night Guy, and uh, Hashirama if you haven't like maxed these units out because you can't get two on each of them. And if you already have those maxed out, then Tsunade is a good option. Gara, Minato, really good too. Um, Toby. Decent Jiraiya good for crit damage. Kage is good too. You know, just whatever you need. They also have this. Uh, they also have uh, my guy's dad. So I believe he was a decent unit. Let me see. Let's see what he does. I kind of forgot. Yeah. So he has two crit boosts, which is two times. So that's four, and then thirty percent more damage to skill type unit so he's a decent unit if you want him 
and you can get him but not a requirement or like not something that you use that much especially because these are hard type unit and uh the hard type units are already stacked so but yeah just get the kagali units you need i'm sure they will come back just like how they are they'll just reset and that way you get more dupes hopefully they do that because that'll be that'll be pretty good yeah, it looks like that's pretty much it for JP. Nothing really new, just a reset on the emergency missions and Kagali coming on Friday. And that's pretty much it, nothing really new. Next week, however, JP should get a Blazing Festival banner or, you know, some type of new banner. Because this um, Blazing Bash one will go away. You also have two weeks to get the awakening material on the limited ninja trials, so make sure to do that. You get the awakening charm, which is uh, needed for awakening to seven star, or for awakening seven star characters or units. Alright, but that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, and let me know if you guys are gonna be summoning on the Sasuke on global because it just came out. And if you are, good luck. And if you did, let me know what you guys get. I will try to summon on this. I just got to grind the pearls. And if I do get enough, I will summon. But that's going to be it uh, for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.